Knight f3 is on the board. Yeah, it's the most flexible move, Knight f3. And look at this. Ding is taken by surprise. He is posing. Oh, g3. Wow. Second move, g6 is one of the main questions. It was the move that Vish Yanand played against Magnus Carlsen in Chennai 2013. And we see g6. There we go. Peter, rookie wow. one. Forget about everything that you have ever thought about this position because rookie one is a completely new touch. Ding made a move c5. I'm loving it. My first intuition says that it's a very interesting move. Okay, you are trying to get out of your opponent's preparation. The computer does not like it. If he just misses one tactical detail in one of the lines, then all his advantage will disappear. Yes, Ding so queen a6. This is a slightly lazy move because he doesn't put white under pressure. Ding okay, trades the rooks. Instantly recaptured. Gukesh pre-moved that. And now another huge moment. Is he actually going to take on a2? He is! And there is a move. Rook a5 on the board. Found it. Ding was not happy to see that. There's always a draw. We could always go home and get some dinner. Okay, rook a3 on the board at the moment. Okay, queen b1. Repeating once. If you wanted to force Maybe a draw, you would have played rook a1, and I think we will get queen f4. Something tells me that is what he's aiming for. But hang on, do I see correctly the computer is criticizing the great move queen d3? Don't do that. Artificial intelligence, please change your mind. He does take the knight. I think he's going for that endgame. Gukesh instantly takes black's knight. And what is Ding's defensive approach here? It is queen f5. I think this is perhaps the lesser evil. Could you go knight c6, rook f4, knight e7? Like, is the idea of knight c6 to go back to e7? And he's played it because exactly. he is the world champion after all. 10 seconds now for Ding. He's got to decide. And here we go. And he's played wow. king e5. And rook h4 already played. Oh my gosh. This is heartbreaking. It might just be lost for black. And king to e1. That was not expected. And now looking at the clock... One could have the feeling that, okay, there is no way Ding will come up with some great defense, but I don't agree with it. <gasps> and F4, FG, and F... Oh, wow. FG, Bishop D3, G2, F4, King F4. Oh my God. And F4 played. But now Kukesh is a minute down on the clock. And look at how he's shaking his, uh, his chair. Yeah, it's a very dramatic situation. Five seconds, got to make a move. Three seconds. And he's played it. And the knight is the game-saving piece. How symbolic. The rook does not outlast Black's knight. And both kings live to tell the tale. It is officially a draw. We have witnessed a fantastic game.